Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. Before we begin today's episode, I just want to say that I'm so excited for the Dynasty episode to come out tomorrow. It is going to be our new Dynasty series. I'm so, so excited and get to introduce you guys to all the characters that we have and where they live and everything. So that is going to be posted tomorrow. So I'm so, so excited for you guys to see. But I just want to do a recap of the last episode. So in the last episode, we focused on the Royal Family of Willow Creek and we got to see who we thought might be the future queen of Willow Creek, Lady Corinne. So her and Prince Louis, he's the heir to the throne. They haven't officially started dating yet, but there's definitely some romantic interest going on there. So I think this one, they're gonna kind of take it slow because I think Prince Louis might be a little bit more cautious. He kind of wants to see who he should date because he knows like all eyes are on him because he's the heir to the throne. So he just wants to make sure Lady Corinne is like the perfect match. And then we also got to see that King Adrian of Oasis Springs, two of his mistresses are pregnant. So I don't know if they're going to have the babies in this episode because this is taking place shortly after the last episode. I haven't like played a lot in, in between. So not a lot of days have passed by. So I think that we might see maybe the next episode, hopefully by the end of this episode, we might get to see the babies if they're a boy or girl and what their names are. But yeah, so we'll get to see that. But before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. Don't forget to hit that like button if you are excited for this episode. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. So the kids have just come home from school, the royal kids of, of oh, I'm of Willow Creek, of Windenburg. So they are, oh, hold on. I need to like zoom out my camera because I had it zoomed in a little bit for the intro. But it looks like Princess May is having problems in the alphabet. Oh, she can't get past A. Oh my God, that is so cheesy. And I totally forgot about that, but she's doing well. But I was like, wait, is she doing poorly in school? Um, School is stupid. I just, I should just be able to start working or living life. You can't because you're the prince. You need to get an education. School teaches important things. Calm yourself. You need to learn that. Don't worry, King, Prince Kellen. I almost called him King Kellen, but he will be King Kellen at some point. So I was checking to see, oh my gosh, calm down, Princess Amira. You're not hideous. It's fine. Don't overreact. You're being emotional. Okay, so Princess Amira, cause she's like the oldest, her and Prince Yohan are the oldest out of all the teenagers group. So she has like 19 more days until she ages up to a young adult. So she's got a pretty good amount of time. But I did wanna add all of the, the royal kids to the club. So I need to add Prince Michael, Princess Meghan. These are all the people who have not been added yet. And I'm only keeping it as like Princess princes and princesses for now. Um, Prince Francis, Princess Naya, pretty much all the royal kids of, of um, Oasis Springs. And then Prince James, which is Prince Johan's little brother. And I think that is everyone. Yeah, it looks like that is, yep. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, that is it. Okay, so now we have like an official royal teens club. And I think I'm going to invite everybody over here. So we will have everyone over, which means Prince Johan is going to be over. So there is really no romantic relationship going on with Prince, Princess Amira and Prince Johan yet. They are not into each other really at all. I'm going to see if they might start getting into each other. But I realized, guys, so Princess May, oh, we'll have her like talk to everyone. Um, So Princess May, she is, her and Prince Johan, they have a thing. And I realized that if Princess Amira and Prince Johan start flirting, she's gonna get really jealous. But like, in my mind, she knows that she's not supposed to. So, I mean, I feel like she, obviously she would get jealous, but it, the Sims, they make them like make a scene when they get jealous and like they're just in an awful mood. But like, she knows that her sister's engaged to marry Prince Johan. So like, I feel like she obviously would be a little bit jealous, but not enough to make a big deal because Princess May is like very like carefree usually. I don't know. It's a little complicated. We'll just have to see how this goes, honestly. Oh, so it looks like Prince Kellen and Princess Meghan are, are going somewhere. Where are you going? Are you cloud gazing? No, you're just chatting. They're going somewhere private to chat, guys. Princess Meghan and Prince Kellen are dating if you didn't see the, I think it was a couple episodes ago, but they're like going somewhere private so they can just talk to each other. That's adorable. This is so cute. They're adorable. Although they went into a, a group conversation now, but let's see, maybe you guys can cloud gaze together and get some privacy. Princess May is talking to Princess Belle still. Prince Johan is approaching. Guys, they have such a strong romantic relationship. They have such a strong romantic relationship. Ah, uh, should they go? No, I think it's way too risky to do something here. Maybe Princess Amira, why is she sad? Princess Amira, why are you sad? You, because you lost at Don't Wake the Llama. Oh my gosh, 
Calm down. You're, she's such a crybaby. I feel like when she doesn't get her way, she like throws a fit. That's the kind of person I feel like Princess Amira is. Uh, and it does look like Prince Yohan and her have a little bit of a romantic relation. <gasps> Guys, oh, this is so risky. Princess May, you can't do that here. You just, you're so lucky no one saw you. You are so lucky. Princess Belle almost did see you and Princess Belle and Princess Amira are very close too. So I don't know if Princess Belle would tell Princess Amira, but oh my gosh, that was so risky. You can't do that. Okay, Princess Amira though, she's playing a good game of don't wake the llama with everyone. I think she's going to go talk to Prince Johan though. I feel like she'd be the type of person to like, cause I don't know, does her and Princess May have a good relationship? They do, they do have a good relationship. But because Princess Amir is so selfish, and I feel like if she saw Princess May flirting with Prince Johan, then she would like, I don't know. If she saw that her sister was kind of interested, do you think she'd be the type of person to like start flirting with him more? Cause I feel like she would. I feel like she's just that type of person. Although they, it does say that they have a very strong relationship. But like, I feel like all of our siblings are really close, but like, that's not usually the case at all. Like usually siblings fight a lot, especially when they're teenagers, they would fight a lot. So I feel like maybe Princess Amira is like not that close with Princess May. I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see how this goes. She's asking Prince Johan for a hand massage right now, which is not supposed to be a romantic thing, but they do have like, do they have a good friendly relationship? They do. They have a very strong friendly relationship. Because I think she might she might sense that something might be going on. She might sense that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like she is jealous. Like she's the type of person for when when she when like when something is is pulling away, like when Prince Johan might have a thing with her sister, then that's when she would go after him. I feel like she's that type of person. That just took a really long time to explain, but yeah. So since she does sense that something's going on, I feel like now is when she's going to probably want to pursue Prince Johan. And I feel like Prince Johan is like kind of a kind of a player maybe, but he knows he's engaged to marry Princess Amira. So I feel like he'd be like civil about this whole thing. So maybe, maybe Princess Amira start flirting with him. Oh, you're at, oh, you asked him for an actual hand massage. Like he has to go upstairs for this and everything. That is funny. That is so, so funny. Oh my gosh. Princess Amira, you are such a spoiled. Oh, you, he, he might not even like her that much. So he's like purposefully hurting her. I feel like, like he's like actually doing a bad job on purpose because he probably doesn't like Princess Amira that much. I don't know guys. This is so interesting. This is so funny. I didn't think when they asked for a hand massage that they would actually go upstairs for a hand massage. So that's kind of funny but it looks like he's like still purposefully hurting her. Oh, it looks like he's going a little bit softer. They might be having a good conversation now. So he might be, it looks like he's going a little bit more smooth. No, no, she looks like she's about to be in pain. Kind of? Yeah, all right, no, never mind. I lied. He's purposefully like, like trying to hurt her now. So that's not a good thing, but I feel like Princess Amir is still probably going to try to flirt with him. So let's see, friendly. Oh no, let's, let's do some more romance maybe ask a risque question. It looks like he's flirting back with her. I, she just did some like weird jumping thing. I hope you guys can see them okay. Um, let's see, a pickup line maybe? I feel like Princess Amir is going to go like, oh no, no, she came on too strong. He's like, no, okay. He's like, this is, he's like, I feel like he's like, I kind of see what she's doing and I'm not gonna play along. But Princess Amir, and they're both feeling very flirty. So maybe that didn't, maybe that didn't go wrong. Maybe it's still that glitch that I have where it says their friendship's going down, but it's not actually glow going down. Maybe compliment his appearance one more time. And then that, that might be, I don't know. It says a suggestive conversation. I think things are kind of heating up between them right now, but I don't know Prince Johan's take on this. Like he obviously knows he has a thing with Princess May. Princess May's all the way down here playing a game. She's like two floors down. So she really has like no idea what's going on, but she's probably wondering, I feel like, like where'd they go? Yeah, she's thinking, she's like, where'd they go? I haven't seen them in a while. She might go check on them. Yeah, because I feel like she like knows her pr her sister's engaged to marry Prince Johan, but she knows they don't like each other. So maybe that's why she would get jealous if she actually saw that they liked each other. So it looks like Princess May is still watching everyone. I don't know if Princess Amir, they are still talking. They're still talking, wait. I don't know if their friendship's actually going down, but it says they're still talking and their romance is going up a little bit more. So she definitely still has a thing with them. But 
you know what? He's walking away from her. And I feel like Princess Amira might be a little bit like, okay, well, this isn't working. Like, I wonder if something actually is going on with him and my sister. But I feel like she's just like in the mood to flirt with someone a lot. So I think she's going to text uh, Lord Wyatt. I almost said Sir Wyatt, but she's going to text Lord Wyatt, send a flirty text, and we'll see if he ends up wanting to hang out because she might leave to go hang out with him. I'm wondering if she actually likes Sir, uh, Lord Wyatt. Because they do have a, they have about the same relationship or romantic relationship, but it doesn't look like Lord Wyatt is asking her to hang out. Maybe, I mean, you can text both of them, just like keep texting them. She's like feeling very flirty right now, you guys. She says she's feeling very flirty. So I feel like she's definitely trying to hit them up. Maybe we could see if there's anyone else she might start being flirty with too. I don't know. There's no one here right now that's really an option for her to flirt with, except, well, maybe, maybe the kids of, of Oasis Springs. But guys, Prince Francis is supposed to maybe end up with Princess Belle. So I wonder if she would start flirting with him and then that would make Princess Belle jealous and Princess Amira and Princess Belle wouldn't be as friends anymore. But I don't think there's actually a, rela a romantic relationship between Princess Belle and Prince Francis right now. But maybe we should try. Maybe she would start flirting with him in front of everyone, do you think? Is, is her father down there? Because he would, no, he's not. Oh, guys, Queen Alice is here. She came to visit and they're hanging out. Oh my God, you guys. Oh gosh. Ask for a hug, ask for a day. Uh, why don't, no, not ask just to be friends. Compliment her outfit. Brighten day. Let's brighten, brighten her day. She's here to visit you guys. I really, I haven't met anyone who I think would, oh, he's kissing her cheek. I didn't even tell him to do that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is, is like, I'm pretty sure this is sweet. It's just weird because she's a ghost. Oh, so they're not like married anymore because he's a widow. So we would have to like actually ask her to be his girlfriend again. That's interesting. That's weird. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea because they are ghosts. And like, obviously he knows that, but that is just very, very strange. Um, but it looks like Princess Amira, she's feeling confident. She is ready to go flirt, you guys. She is like, I don't think she sees her mother, to be honest. Although her mother is joining like everybody. That's probably not a good thing. You probably don't want to be here. She's feeling bored. Well, why don't you guys go? Oh no, they're going to see Princess Amira flirting with, with Prince Francis in front of everybody. Like, is Prince Johan here? Oh no, Prince Johan left. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. I didn't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's not even in the room. So he's not seeing this. Maybe... I think Princess May might go talk to him to maybe ask like, where have they been? But Princess Amira is flirting with, with Prince Francis and I just saw their hearts go up. Oh, and Prince Johan's in the room now too. Is he gonna get jealous? I don't know. Uh, I don't actually know when their friendship's going down because that's just a glitch pretty much. But it looks like, it looks like a little bit of a romantic relationship is forming with them. Princess May, I feel like he's asking like, where, where were you? And I feel like Princess Amira is seeing this. And because Prince Johan walked out on her and like left her up there when she was trying to flirt, I feel like now she's trying to make him jealous by flirting with Prince Francisco. So guys, this is, I, I just imagine all these intentions of Princess Amira and it just makes this so much more interesting. It's so, so funny. Okay, and then we have a Prince James here who she's like not close with at all. She should probably get to know him a little bit better. And then we have, where's Prince Kellen? He, oh, they are playing another game upstairs. And then him and Princess May, or I almost said Princess May. Princess Megan are up here. Princess Belle is not seeing Princess Amira flirting with Prince Francis. So, I don't, but there's not a romantic relationship really going with them, but I feel like Princess Belle probably has a crush on him. Um, so, and then obviously their parents would be all for them getting married and stuff because they both come, I mean, like he's a prince, he's the prince of Oasis Springs. So I feel like that that's for sure like the case. So I think Princess Amira, it doesn't look like any real romantic relationship is going up with them. I probably because they're in a group conversation, but Prince Johan's back. She literally, she got up and she was like, no, I'm not gonna flirt. But then as soon as she saw Prince Johan, she was like, no, I'm gonna flirt because Prince Johan's right there and I'm angry at him. And a real romantic relationship has started, you guys. It has started. I feel like Prince Johan is like pretending he's not seeing this. It is an awkward encounter now because we have Prince, who is this? This is Prince Jack. He's in the conversation and that's her cousin. So I feel like now it's, it's kind of getting awkward. But 
there is a small romantic relationship going with them. And I feel like Prince Johan, he probably doesn't really care, but he's like definitely acting like he doesn't care. Like he's like, I'm not gonna get sucked into this. I know what she's doing. So I'm gonna pretend that I don't care. But he's like just doing his homework. Oh, I should probably have the other kids do their homework too. So Prince Kellen, do your homework. And then Princess May, I think your homework Princess May was on the table. Let's see, it's right yeah, over here. And then Princess of Mary, you should probably do your homework too. I don't actually know where your homework is though. So you might have to borrow one of your siblings homework. And then who is this? Which goes is this? King Henry the third. Oh, okay. Uh, attempt introduction. Cause I guess, cause he's a global superstar, but I'm pretty sure this must be like your great grandfather probably. Let's see. This is your no but it's like her great great grandfather which is so does anyone know if there's a mod for extended family for like step parents too because i don't think step parents do they show up i think a step brother step sister shows up but i don't know if step mother or step father shows up so yeah if you guys know how to make extended family like great great grandparents or great great grandchild or something like that please let me know and like drop the link in the comments below because I really would like that mod if it does exist. I tried looking it up and I couldn't find anything. So yeah, so Queen Alice is still here. It looks like her and King Henry were just off doing something. I don't know what, but Princess Belle is back. So she missed the flirting between Prince Francis and Princess Amira. I feel like Prince Francis, I don't know. Would I, I wonder if he would fall more for Princess Amira because she's like a little bit of like uh, unattainable sort of thing. So I feel like he's falling for it a little bit, but that's another thing. She is unattainable because he knows she's engaged to marry Prince Johan too. So there's not much they could do about it, but I feel like he would like the idea of having like a fling with her and it being secretive. So yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't really know what kind of person Prince Francis is, but I, I don't know. I feel like he would kind of fall for that because Princess Amira is probably very convincing except to Prince Johan because Prince Johan is like so into himself, but he also apparently really likes Princess May. So he was probably like, why couldn't she be the daughter that I'm engaged to marry? Oh no, Princess May's sick now too. Probably from worrying so much about Prince Johan. Take some medicine so that goes away. And then, yep, she's doing her homework. Prince Kellen, did he finish? He is almost done with his homework. And then King Henry has learned the following about Princess Belle. She's a goody two shoes. Yes, she is. And then Princess Amir, she's angry. Oh, just because she's hot headed, I think. Yeah, from the hot headed trait. Yeah, Prince, or not Princess, uh, Queen Alice is here too. She's talking with everyone. Oh my gosh, you guys. I Yeah, I really just haven't seen anyone for King Henry to maybe marry. Cause I kind of said that like, if someone, if something happens or if, if there's someone ideal for him, then we can marry him, then maybe he'll marry someone or he'll have like a thing with another woman, but I don't, there just really hasn't been anyone showing up. So I'm not gonna like try and look. Yeah, I'm like looking in his, at his friends and there's like literally nobody. So interesting. Okay, so homework complete. Princess Amir, she needs to do her homework at some point too. And then is there any extra credit work that we can do as well? Yes, okay, do extra credit work. And then Prince Kellen, you can do your extra credit work. And then Princess Amira needs to work on her homework too. Guys, Princess May is feeling lust, which I think that's from the Slice of Life mod. But oh my gosh, woohoo desire. <gasps> woohoo desire. Oh my gosh, you're a teenager. You guys can't woohoo. Um, Amira needs to do her homework. And then, yeah, cause they're like about to start school. So Princess Amira, you really need to do your homework before everyone starts school. So guys, I don't even know if Princess May can control herself at this point. She's feeling so lustful. Maybe they're gonna go to school any minute though. Is she going to school? Yeah, all right. Everyone's going to school now, but Princess Amira is staying behind cause she needs to do her home. Wait, yeah, Princess Amira, you have to do, no, you have to do your homework. You can't go to school. You, no, uh, she didn't do her homework. Okay, well, she's gonna have to work hard at school then because otherwise she's not gonna get good grades. So study, study extra, extra hard. Okay, so since all the kids are going to school, I think we're gonna check in with King Adrian's mistresses to see if they are going, if they're pregnant um, or no, they are pregnant. I'm sorry, to see if they're going to be having their baby soon. Cause I wanna at least see when they're supposed to have their baby. So we can definitely check by playing from their point of view. Okay, so I think the first one to get pregnant was Lady Harmony. So she would be the first to be pregnant. Oh my gosh, you guys, Lady Harmony is still at the cathedral. She was there in the last episode and she was in the episode, she was there in the episode before that. Is she living there now? Oh my gosh, we have to see this. Maybe, maybe this is where she like got banished to. Because like, 
I remember seeing, I think it was like the Tudors series. I think it's on Netflix or something like that, but it's about King Henry VIII. And one of his mistresses got pregnant and had a son. And I don't know if they officially banished her, but they like sent her off somewhere far away. So they could be like raised like in this like private little small castle or something like that. So maybe that's the situation here because she like won't leave. What? That's so strange. Maybe she did get banished. I thought she was just like maybe a little crazy and wanted to stay around there because that's where her and King Henry had a thing. But oh my gosh. Also, so I I know you guys saw not in the last episode, but the episode before that with King Henry and his mistresses. She needs to go to work, but she's not at work. I don't think she's going to go. I think she's going to stay here. She looks very pregnant. Oh yeah, she's gonna give birth very soon. So I think she might. So maybe she'll give birth as I'm explaining this. So, um, but I I know that with King Adrian, he, ha like him and, oh, oh, what's her name? I forgot her name. Who's, it's someone's daughter. Is it, is it Lady, I think it's the Duchess's daughter, Duchess Blair's daughter. I don't remember her name. Oh, it's like Lady Lorelai. That's it, it's Lady Lorelai. Um, so, there's like a romantic, and it's a glitch for sure, but there's like a romantic interest thing going on between King Henry, who's an adult, or a young adult, and then Lady Lorelai, which was there when she was a toddler, but now she's a child. But one of our viewers pointed out that it's probably just like a crush that Lady Lorelai has on him, which is funny because Lady Lorelai's mother is Duchess Blair. Oh gosh, she's about to pee her pants. Um, is Duchess Blair, who is the mistress of King Henry. Or not King Henry, I'm sorry, King Adrian. So yeah, so that I just thought was weird. And that's a good explanation for it too, because I thought it was so strange, but that makes so much more sense if it's just like a little crush that she has. So yeah, so okay, so she's been here forever, you guys. She's, why, why, who are you on the phone with anyway? She's been here for so long, but she's about to have her baby. So, oh, and all the kids are back from school. So I kind of wanted to, oh no, she's gone into labor. <gasps> Perfect timing. Okay, so you should probably go to a hospital because there are nowhere to have a baby here. So she's gonna have a hospital. I'm probably just gonna send her alone. And then I think it's probably gonna take us back to their, uh, to their household. Oh no, it's gonna bring her back here. So Lady Harmony's having her baby at the hospital. She's gone by herself. She had a baby girl, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, but like her, her parents, like no one knows. She, I think she's gonna have to move out, you guys. You know what? You can tell me you're not in the in the comments if you think this is a good idea, but I think we're gonna move her to like one of the worlds that we don't really play in like her own small house with probably like a governess or something. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, okay, I need to look at the baby suggestion names to see, cause I haven't thought of a baby name at all. So give me one second. Okay, so this was actually a baby name suggested for one of Princess Anna's babies, but they're not having any more kids and I didn't use this one. So someone suggested Charlotte for the name. So I think I'm gonna name her Lady Charlotte. So I think that is, and I hope it all fits. Well, we'll see. Lady Charlotte, is that how you spell it? I think that's how you spell it. Uh, let me just make sure, Charlotte. Yep, that's right. Okay, and it all fits too. Okay, so Lady Charlotte. So I think we're going to have her come back here just so I don't have to go through any more loading screens. Ouch from life. Lady Harmony seems to be to be bitten by something. Well, that's not good. I did get rid of the menstrual cycles, guys. I deleted them, the slice of life mod. They were just annoying. So I'm so glad because I don't have to worry about them being uncomfortable all the time. So yeah, okay. So we're gonna go to manage worlds because I think I'm gonna move her out. I think she is going to be sent away. And, I, and like, she hasn't, I mean like the baby's home now technically, but like if she's been at the cathedral this entire time, I feel like she hasn't told her mother or her siblings that she has had a baby. So I think we're, I think she's gonna be banished. Should, this would be awful if we banished her to Strangerville, you guys. We do not play here at all. I have not played this game since my one video of my reaction to Strangerville. I just didn't see, I didn't, I didn't find it fun at all. But I'm so excited, you guys, because I'm pretty sure the next expansion pack is gonna be the Tropical Paradise one. And that is my, that was my favorite one in The Sims 3. I am so excited. I don't know if it's gonna be like a whole nother series or I might just incorporate it into the Dynasty series because I think it would fit that one. Maybe we could make it into a kingdom. Oh, we could. Oh my gosh, I just had that idea. We could make it like a Polynesian kingdom. And the, like the, oh my God, you guys, we're totally gonna do that. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I think I think that's totally what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have to find new outfits for them and I'm gonna have to see if it'd be like more Hawaiian and Polynesian themed clothing. 
But, oh my gosh, I hope you guys are excited for that as I am because I just thought of that and I'm so excited. And the only thing was in The Sims 3, it was like, it took up so much room on my computer. Like that was for sure the, when I had downloaded that, it made my game slow down a lot. But I have a lot better computer now than I did back then. So hopefully it won't be too bad. But anyway, I'm sorry. Okay, that was my little tangent. Um, So it would be awful if we moved her here, you guys. It would it'd be really bad, but it is still desert themed. And I feel like they might want to keep with the desert theme because like Delso Valley isn't really banishing because there's a lot of people there. Newcrest, but people go there. We go there a lot. Yeah, this this wouldn't really be a, a good banishing place. It would be awful. If, I think it'd be worse to send her to Forgotten Hollow than it would be to Strangerville. And I don't think they would send her to like a city like San Myshuno. If we had the Tropical Island Paradise pack, then we could send her there and she would have a lot of fun. I think we're going to send her to Strangerville. You guys, I was not prepared to do this. I don't actually know if there's any houses available, so I'm gonna have to evict someone. So let's see, how many bedrooms is, oh, won't tell me. Okay, uh, but like, if it's a king, shouldn't it be like a nicer house or something? I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna evict these people though, because I don't care about them. So evict, evict, I wish I could send her to, a, well, maybe we, was, we would send her to a nice house. I feel like King Adrian, would use the money to make sure his child has a good house. So I think we're gonna actually send her to that plateau place. So I just accidentally evicted someone, but oh well, who cares? So in the Oasis Springs, so, oh my gosh, you guys, we're going to send her there and I'm probably going to download like a random like governess or something from the gallery. So, oh my gosh, she's pale, geez. Okay, Lady Charlotte, which is weird considering that her father is super, super tan. Um, but select, create a new household. So Lady Harmony is saying bye. She's saying bye, she's moving out, we're moving her out. And if you guys don't think this is a good idea, I can totally move her back in. Because I know you guys were saying like, sometimes the mistresses, they were like, they were, fav they were favored, like they had a good reputation. But the way I see it is I feel like, like being pregnant, they might, no, they, no one might know that it's the king's daughter. So I think we are going to like, it's not banishing. I feel like it's like sending them away. So yeah, but you guys can let me know what you think. If you don't like it, I can definitely change it one of the future episodes. So we're moving her away here. Oh, I gotta turn on free real estate on. So she's going to move oh wait what happened yep she's gonna move in here furnished and then he gave her i guess twenty two thousand dollars that she could live off of and then i am going to find a governess i feel like he would send someone to take care of the kids um so i was looking also at the mirror ray townies that you guys made for me too it looks like someone had just added someone for that but i'm going to look up Governess, so we can, oh, no, not Gouverness. <laughs> Govern S, okay, let's see. Okay, so I don't, I probably don't want custom content for this. The new Governess, this might work. Um, it looks like she's probably a young adult. Lucy Firth, perfect, perfect. I think she's great, okay. So she is the governess that he has sent to help uh, Lady Harmony take care of the baby. So yeah, just have her move in. So yeah, so we're joining their households together and we'll, we'll, I check in on, on her every once in a while. Maybe she can come back and maybe she might like be kind of jealous of the, of, of the actual kids of Always Springs, the royal family. Maybe she might like try to overturn them one day, but she's a lot younger than them though. So I don't know how well that would work but that would be interesting. Okay, so I think that Duchess Blair should be having her baby very shortly too. So we can go ahead and see if she's about to have her baby or not. Okay, so Duchess Blair, I forgot how much she hates children, but she's about to have her baby soon too. So this is her daughter who I don't know where she is right now, but we can bring her back here. So Lady Lorelei is the one who has a crush on the king. She did see the king over at her house, or he was wearing a disguise, but I feel like she would have still recognized him. Um, but this is her romantic interest. It's her little kid crush, I feel like. It's probably just innocent. Um, but someone's calling Duchess Blair. I heard the talent showcase. No, we don't care about that. Um, but so Duchess Blair's situation, Duke Addy could just think that it's it's his because as soon as she found out she was pregnant, they did woohoo together so she can make him think that it's his baby. Okay, oh my gosh, Duchess Blair has gone into labor, you guys. <gasps> She's gone into labor. Okay, so she can have her baby here, I'm pretty sure, because I think we have a bassinet. 
So, unless it totally doesn't look like Dugatti. Although she doesn't look anything like Dugatti. Also, Princess Anne is here. That's interesting. I don't know why she's here. I guess they're fr Are they friends? Are you? No, they don't even know each other. Why is Princess Anne? And she barely knows the Duke. That's weird. I have no idea why she's here. Um, okay, so Lady Blair is having- Oh, she had a girl too, you guys! Okay, so another baby name that I have not used yet is Lady Gabriella. Or no, I'm sorry. It was it was Gabby and Cara, uh, C-A-R-A. C -A -R -A. Um, so, but like if, if it was Gabby, I'd probably name her Gabriella. I actually like Cara or Cara. Uh, I don't know. I guess people pronounce it both ways. I think we're gonna say Kara. So I think it's gonna be Lady Kara. So there we go. So they both of his mistresses. Oh, oh no! <laughs> you guys, she had twins. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Okay. So I have to look at the baby names again. Okay. So looking at one of the other names that I haven't used was Benjamin, and I actually haven't named a boy Benjamin, which is surprising because it's a pretty common name, and it's also like. I feel like pretty popular with noble or royal families too. So why don't we go ahead and do that then? So this, this will be Lord Benjamin. So yeah, oh my God, you guys. Okay, so they had twins. I'm always so shocked when Sims have twins. I'm just not expecting it. But oh my God, oh, it's just floating. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. I should probably add cribs for them. That would probably be important. I forgot since I got the crib bod for babies, like they just float when they come out. Sometimes they're in bassinets though, but sometimes they're not. And then sometimes they end up in the crib, but I think that's only if you have a crib. Is this house even big enough for, for all the kids that they have? Not really, guys. This is kind of a small house. And, but like, they're the Duke and Duchess. I think we need to fix this. I think they need to have a bigger house. So I'll probably do that in the next episode. So I might actually just leave the kids floating for now because I'll probably replace their house when I'm done filming. So you guys can see, okay, just by the, and I know they don't always look like this. And I'm sorry, this is so weird because they're just floating in midair. But like, you can see how tan this one is and how like pale this one is. So like Prince, or not Prince, Duke Addy's not, tan and then neither i guess duchess blair is pretty tan so i mean honestly he he i i feel like he wouldn't know at all like who that this isn't his kids so i think he's going to be led to believe that they are his kids so yeah so i'm actually gonna end this episode here but i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did give it a big thumbs up i hope you guys are so excited for the dynasty series coming out tomorrow i'm so excited for you guys to see it but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you haven't already and don't forget to follow us on social media too so you can see our schedule that i post on my twitter that's in the description below and i will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!